the data sheet from on semiconductor for the 2N7000G N channel MOSFET uh, component that we have here. I don't know if this is G or not, but uh, it doesn't say G on the face of it. But in uh, any case, that's the data sheet I've come up with so far. It says that while the transistor is on, which it is right now, we have the red jumper to the positive rail, that the resistance from the drain to source is 5 ohms. So this video, I thought we would test that first. We can see that it is on. I can take this LED here and a 100 ohm resistor. I'm only dealing with 5 volts and the LED comes on when we plug it there. If I yank the jumper and put it to the negative rail, that turns it off and uh, may keep it off if uh, we don't get a signal. But in any case, main thing is it's on now. And uh, so we're going to yank that and yank the LED. That is it for the uh, visual demonstration right there. And we're going to set the meter to measure resistance. So we need this jumper from the uh, source down here to the uh, negative rail. So it's drain, top pin, gate, middle pin. That's how we control it. And source down here. We don't have to worry about current as long as we keep voltage low enough if you get high enough uh, voltage to get current to pass through it, you de uh, destroyed the component. So you don't want to do that. So make sure you look that up. But uh, we only got 5 volts, so we're safe. It's just sending a positive signal to the gate to get the component to fully conduct from drain to source. And we will look, according to the data sheet, as I said, for the 2N7000G, it said 5 ohms. And I've been getting about 2.8 ohms, uh, 2.7 ohms. And it may change as the component w warms up or something. I don't know. So this uh, resistor here, we have, because we're going we're gonna to do a voltage test too. So across the resistor, we have 99.1 ohms of resistance, 99 right there. So basically, this is about uh, 3% two and a half percent or so of the resistance of that resistor and so what we're going to do if we put them in series of course that was to the gate if we put them in series and you can still see the two pins so that lead is to the drain up there their resistances will add up so for a load if a few ohms of resistance makes a difference just be aware, you have a few ohms of resistance within this uh, MOSFET while it is conducting fully. And we are going to connect this now to the positive rail. So now current is flowing through there. We don't want to measure resistance. We will go to voltage. And we'll look at the rail voltage by going to a point where the uh, two components connect to the rail. There we can see 4.9 and uh, unfortunately it was a little higher. It was 5 volts before but uh, just remember 4.96. So we're going to look at the voltage across the resistor. Let's look at that again. 4.96. If we just measure the voltage across the resistor it's going to be a little less. 4.825 and there will be a voltage because remember there's some resistance across the transistor there. So I'm going to display on the screen if we had 100 total ohms of resistance it's uh, slightly more. Actually it's going to be 102 it looks like. About 102 exactly. So we'll take 102 and we'll take uh, two and a half percent of that and we'll see what that voltage should be two and a half percent of five volts so you can see we got about five volts at the rail and then we have a point one three zero volts that should be about two point five volts in that range it's not going to be exact numbers but uh... it should be uh... pretty close so in any case the main takeaway is this component has a little internal resistance and we can gather some of that detail uh, with uh, voltage measurements or just 
measuring the resistance directly. Now we did need that resistor is really hot. So that was a quarter watt of power. I shouldn't have uh, grabbed that. That was the maximum uh, wattage we should put across a quarter watt resistor. Now we do need, as I said, the uh, to take the resistance measurement. We do need the source directly to ground. Right there, you can see the uh, 2.7, 2.8. If we don't connect it, even though we have a positive charge to the component and there's still no current going through it, you're not going to get a uh, resistance, that, uh, that uh, low resistance. We got a higher resistance. Now, we do need that uh, ground right there. The, uh, the jumper to ground from there. So that is needed. You can't just measure it with the positive signal to the gate. So in any case, hopefully that all made sense and uh, you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.